Greetings, people of three dimensions. I am Uncavessel Tux and welcome to Esoteric Topics in Geometry, the show where you are this guy. In three dimensions there are a few groups of polyhedra with special names. There's the five platonic solids, the four Kepler point so polyhedra, the 13 Archimedean solids, the 13 Catalan solids, and the 92 Johnson solids. In four dimensions these all have analogs, but a lot of them are more abundant than in 3D. Let's get to the 4D platonic solids. While 3D has 5 platonic solids, 4D has 6. Five of them can be roughly compared with the 3D platonic solids, and there's also one extra one. I have some trouble pronouncing the names of these so I'm getting my editor to help. First of all, the rough equivalent of the tetrahedron is called a pentacoron, with five tetrahedral cells. The equivalent of the cube is called a tesseract, with eight cubic cells. Note that it is not uniquely called a hypercube, since hypercube can refer to the equivalent to a cube in any dimension, such as a square, 3D cube, tesseract, pentaract, or technically even a line segment in 1D. The equivalent of an octahedron is called hexadecacoron, which has 16 tetrahedral cells. The very rough equivalent of a dodecahedron is called a 120 cell, or and has 120 cells. And finally, the extremely rough equivalent of the icosahedron is called a 600 cell or hexacosicoron and has 600 tetrahedral cells. Finally, there's one extra shape known as the 24 cell or icosatetracoron, which isn't very similar to anything in 3D and has 24 octahedral cells. There are no regular four-dimensional polytopes with icosahedral cells because they're too round to connect well. This is sort of similar to how no platonic solids are made out of hexagons, since they have too many sides to connect unless they lie flat. The four-dimensional star polychora are known as the Schlafleihes polychora, and there are ten of them as opposed to the pitiful four Kepler Poinso polyhedra. We have a lot more to get to in this video, so please enjoy this montage of all of them. Next of all are the convex uniform polychora and their duals, the four-dimensional equivalent of the Archimedean solids and Catalan solids. There are 40 of each, and the set is proven complete. Oh, and we're not going to touch the non-convex ones because there are 2,135 of them known, and the set isn't even proven complete yet so there are probably more. First of all, there are two infinite families of these, sort of like the 3D prisms and antiprisms. One infinite category contains the duoprisms. 
It's actually possible in 4D to take one polygon in one 2D and copy it to every point on another polygon in a perpendicular 2D plane. Sort of like how a 3D prism is copying a polygon on a line segment. There are an infinite number of these for every pair of polygons including star polygons. The other category is just the prisms of the 3D antiprisms. The other uniforms can be represented by something called a coxeter diagram. Um, wait hold on, what is this? Hi, three-dimensional editor with more expressive voice here. <clears throat> You're still doing this? This is so inefficient. I thought you guys invented Blender for a reason. Anyway, there's a class of polytope operations known as the with off en operations. They're all really just cutting pieces off of the polytopes. Truncation is cutting vertices off, creating new faces where they used to be, and adding more sides to the old faces. Rectification is doing that, but cutting to the midpoints of the edges, so that edges become vertices. Cantillation is cutting edges, and runcination, which first appears in 4D, is cutting faces. Further operations exist in higher dimensions. I would show a montage here, but that would take up a large portion of the video, so here's just a few, taken from Jonathan Bauer's site. 4D also has 40 uniform duels, equivalent to the Catalan solids, and these aren't talked about much, but do exist. Finally, what are the 4D Johnson solids? There are two ways of extending this. One seems to make more sense, but is super restrictive. The blind polytopes are convex polytopes where every side is regular. This means 4D blind polytopes must have platonic solids as all faces, 5D must have 4D convex regulars, etc. Every single blind polytope in any dimension is one of the following things. A uniform convex polytope. One of the 92 Johnson solids. A bipyramid of a simplex or orthoplex. The 4D icosahedral pyramid. The 4D icosahedral bipyramid. The 4D augmented rectified 5 cell. Or one of over 300 million variations of the 600 cell with pieces cut off. This means that in 5 dimensions or more, all you get are the convex uniforms and two others, which is boring. A more interesting extension is called CRF or convex regular face. This means only the 2D polygon elements have to be regular, but any higher elements don't. In 3D this distinction doesn't matter because the highest dimensional elements are faces. But in 4D and higher, this problem is unsolved. There are likely several billion more CRF cuts of the 600 cell that aren't blind, or variations of the other 4D uniforms. There are also a few Johnson solids that are subjectively classified as elementary, since they aren't found by cutting and pasting uniforms. In higher dimensions these are referred to as crown jewels, and there is interest in the hobbyist polytope community for discovering them. Because already several hundred million are known, I can't show even all the blind polychora. So for now I conclude this video. Thank you for watching and remember to always keep looking zant.